Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome to Super Mario and the Ancient Stars. Today we're going to the Star of Greed. I love the aesthetic here of walking in from the abyss. Ha! Oh, take that level design. Oh my. And I like that enemy that pulls a piece of the abyss with it as it pursues me. That's cool. Oh, I was going to use that turtle to defeat my enemy. Yeah, take that weird flying abyss thing. I'm glad that was thought through to uh, eliminate the abyss when that enemy died. Oh man. One tile wide jumps with lava on either side. That is not good. Oh my. Ah. No! Why? Okay, whatever. I made it to the door. Ah! No! Why? Okay, so I'm just going to keep up my. Whoa! Ha! That was reckless and could have got me injured, but whatever. Okay. Ha! Woo! That was a close. No, not another tile. What? Ah! Too much stuff is going on. Ooh, I made it out. Somehow. Ha! Ah. Yeah, take that. On the one hand, I would love to get those coins on the... Oh, those things are chasing me. Okay, for some reason I thought they were just Rinkas, even though they were definitely the wrong color for that. Please, one Rinka per boss. This isn't Metroid, where I have guarantee of a gun that can take them out. Oh, good, a checkpoint. Uh, I hope there's not lava down. Oh. Somehow. No! <sighs> Somehow I feel like I've encountered this exact aesthetic before. But whatever. It's a good aesthetic, it's just I feel like there's too many. Okay, that was my bad. I decide that I wanted to speed my way through a ton of stuff all at once in order to avoid some of the Rinka masks. Ah, no! Darn it! I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go from there. Alright, so... Darn it! Don't hurt me. Okay, so now let's try going down like this. Alright, also, Redigit is cool. Redigit is... Redigit is cool. Okay, so... Let's say that I go down like this, and yeah, where do I go from? Oh, okay. Okay, that would have killed me twice. The, the problem there is that there, it's not clear where you're supposed to go. And also, it's just the sheer accumulation of stuff on the screen. Although it doesn't feel as uh, massive as that last- Darn it! There was a sparkle door. 
but the sparkle door doesn't stand out compared to other kinds of sparkles. Don't hurt me. Etiquette is cool. Alright, so... Honestly, the first segment of this level before the checkpoint is actually pretty cool. I just recommend less of this, and especially this, where you have something surrounded on two sides by lava, because if you even touch lava... Alright. Oh, If you even touch lava, like just slightly, you get killed by it. I mean, this is a very scary one to be on. Alright, so... Yeah, the screen's starting to get littered with way too much stuff. So yeah, thus far overall for this game I'd recommend a little more restraint when it comes to level design because especially earlier on a lot of the challenges are really fair on their own, it's just there's too many of them without a chance to save between them. And then starting around here, around this world the challenges start being, uh, hey, we got a ton of stuff littering the screen, and it's hard to interpret what you're do trying to do sometimes. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I really feel like those sparkle doors, and especially that sparkle wall from yesterday, are not well indicated as uh, anything special. Ah, was not expecting this to become a, a quicksand. Mario, I hit the jump button. Why did you not jump? Hate quicksand. I hate it. With the fiery passion of a thousand suns, I hate it. Trying to dodge a Rinka while you're in quicksand. That's kind of cruel. Alright, so. What am I. Oh, there's a sparkle door. And again, please, show a little more restraint with the Rinkas. Please. What's the matter, Conan? Okay, so then. Hiya. No! What? What? Uh, 
<sighs> what? I missed the checkpoint. I missed the checkpoint. I failed to acquire the checkpoint. I am very upset at myself for having missed that. Oh, right. Why aren't you grabbing onto that, Mario? I'm holding the up button. Wee. Wee. Hiya. Wee. Wee. I am ascending. Oh, this part's almost like a trap. Yeah. Take that game design. I have broken you using my cheats. Okay, so for the level boss, you want to uh, break. Okay, making sure that I got the checkpoint. I feel like this level is asking a bit much from the player, and, and I'm worried that all these final levels are going to be about this complicated or more. Well, grr, I hate the quicksand, I hate it. it th this isn't a cr critique of the level, the quicksand. It's just I personally dislike it. It can be used well, and I think that aside from trying to make me dodge Rinkas while I'm in it, I think this could be a good use of it. Darn it. But yeah. Yeah, you, you, you get to this boss and there's just so much stuff littering the screen that you need to dodge while trying to throw stuff at the boss. Yeesh. Darn it! Ah! Ugh. And then I find out that you need to... Ugh, there's so much stuff littering the screen, I cannot process it all. Ugh. Darn it! Darn it! I'm even invincible and I'm having a ton of trouble with this because of the sheer amount of stuff littering the screen. Ugh. Wrong one, Mario. I like the star-shaped bombs. Those are cool. I do not like the sheer amount of flashing items on the screen. What? What? How do I get in here? Also, making sure I have a constant stream of things to work with. That is also good. Just... Please, less stuff. Less stuff littering the screen. Conan, why are you growling so much? Ah! 
There, sit on my lap and shut up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but there's some invisible wall that's preventing me from proceeding. Some unindicated invisible wall. And my goodness, I'm going to need a break after this level just from staring at the screen. At this screen here. Okay, now can I go in there? Okay, I don't know what's up with that. And then this sparkle door you have to manually leave through before you get killed. <sighs> okay, up next is the mountain. Join me next time as I challenge the mountain, the space mountain star. Yes. <laughs>